Hello, I hope you're well. This is Rob Coven. I'm going to try and improve this website here for a client. It's on the education theme on the Genesis framework by Studio Press. Just going to show you a bit about how I go about um, tweaking WordPress sites and Genesis sites in general. So first of all the client asked me to increase the size of this here and to do that we go into developer tools in Chrome. Get developer tools by hitting command option I on the Mac and then you get that little um, magnifying glass and you click on the thing element that you want to change. And here it is in the, C in the HTML and here it is in the CSS. You can see that there's um, an ID description there and you see that the font size is 13. So you can change this here actually. This doesn't actually change it on the site but you can have a look at how it have a look how it is. I've just changed that up to 18 pixels and that's made it go a little bit bigger. Um, to change that on the style of course you can go into the styles here in the back end of WordPress under appearance editor. Uh, you could also do this using an FTP program and a proper text editor. I didn't show you that so here it shows you which line of the, and where the style is so it's on style CSS and it's line 200 and 19 and so it's near the top somewhere. Here it is, description and we'll put that up to 18 and update the file. And then if you refresh your website the um, change will be affected. So I think we want to put this in the other menu there so if we go into um, appearance menus and have a look what he's got there. He's got this one menu called top and one called main. You can see the main is the primary navigation menu so um, all we need to do is add the contact to that menu and save that menu and then if you go back to the site and refresh you'll see you've got the contact link in that menu so you don't really need this menu so if you go back to appearance widgets you'll find that this menu is in header right there's custom menu widget there and that's the top menu you could add you could change that to main and then you'll have that menu repeated there of course you don't want both menus there so the the answer is to get rid of this one and you can do that by dragging dragging it in here to inactive widgets. If you drag it into inactive widgets you keep the settings on the widget. Um, if you dragged it into here you'd lose it. But here on header, header right we've only got this the simple social icons widget so if we refresh again you'll see that menu's disappeared you just have the social icons in the header. You might want to push them over to the other side actually and then it'll balance things out a bit, I'll, I'll do that now. So we just have a look at this. Probably just better just to get this div here, simple social icons, and we'll float that right and see what happens. I think that's probably the best idea if it works. So we go back into the editor and put it in this simple social icons and go float right on it and let's see if that works. And there we go. That's a bit more balanced out. I, I would actually put uh, something on the top of it, margin top, um, 15 pixels, and that, that will make it um, drop down a touch. So, so now it kind of, it, it maybe 13 pixels would have been better. Um, it kind of lines up with the with the heading there, and it's centered vertically within the header. So, next thing. Here he's got his sign up box. It's it's a bit of a mess. The the site is in a template with two sidebars and I don't think he really needs that because it looks a dreadful mess and you really don't have a sign up form in such a, a narrow column measure. So I'm gonna put this in there and, and make it to be just a one sidebar 
layout. And you do that by going into Genesis theme settings and just choosing the, this, this layout as the default layout. So that will just give you one sidebar and save the settings. So that, when you refresh it, that will give you that one sidebar and of course his sign up form has disappeared so we go back to widgets and you'll see he's got a primary sidebar and a secondary sidebar here so the secondary sidebar has disappeared so you want to pull that widget up into the primary sidebar now there's nothing in the secondary sidebar that's fine because we haven't got one so let's have a look again refresh that and it still looks a bit like a dog's dinner we'll improve that um, again, we'll just go into Developer Tools and let's get rid of that box for starters. We want to get rid of that border, not the border color, we'll actually get rid of the border. Just have a border zero um, on MC sign up form. And this isn't a style that's come from um, the style sheet of the theme, this is actually coming from the widget. But if you put it in the style sheet of the theme, it will override it. So I usually put um, any extra styles I've got right at the top and um, let's just go, you can either do border none or border zero, both will do the same thing and just to keep my CSS tidy I'll just do my edits or Rob's edits, they're for specifically new declarations in the CSS that I've done and we'll update that and refresh ah and it hasn't taken it out so what's happened there oh it looks like I haven't typed it properly maybe an important yes that worked with important does it does it work if it's none yeah you have to um, put the important declaration after the CSS edits you're making to the MailChimp widget otherwise they don't override Thank you.